identify hungry markets too. In our last article, we discussed how you can use the costly market research of others to help you begin to identify hungry markets. There is no doubt that researching magazine stands can help you identify areas of interest in this article. We'll look at another way you can piggyback on research done by others and then drill down to specific niches. IT seems impossible now to go anywhere without seeing a stand of dummies guides for sale covering every subject imaginable. Their distinctive black and yellow covers seem to be everywhere. Dummies' guides would never have become so ubiquitous had they not done their market research and done it well. We can use that to our advantage, let us assume you have an idea of the sort of interest area you wish to target. If you've taken our advice from last time, you will probably start with an area of interest of your own. We've no way of knowing what your interest might be, but let's pick something at random, let's take the general subject of dogs to if we head over to dummies.com and click the store button and type in the general search term dogs, on the date we're writing in mid-December 2010, we get 43 results for the UK and European market. The fact that the Dummies organization can find a market for so many books within the general scope of dogs suggests there is substantial interest and a significant market. So, what do we do with that information? Well, just to confirm our suspicions that the general area of dogs is worth further investigation, we head over to http colon slash slash google keyword tool dot com and type into the search box the word dogs. Again, at the time of writing, the results show that in the previous month there had been 16.6 million searches on that term. Now, before we get too excited, we then head over to Google and search the term dogs and we'll see it brings up a truly massive 164 million results. Around 10 results for every search a lot of competition, so we clearly need to drill down and find a more specific niche to work within, a niche where there is still a significant level of interest but not quite the levels of competition. Let's head back over to dummies. Let's take a look at some of the titles on offer to see if we can narrow things down. Point one of the titles is entitled Retired Racing Greyhounds, a fairly specific niche. If we head over to Google Keyword Tool.com and enter the term Retired Greyhound, the search results show a much lower return of 9,900 per month, but a look further down the list shows a search of 4,400 for the term Retired Greyhound Trust, so over 14,000 people a month are interested in retired greyhounds. If we now check on Google, we see there are only 35,800 competing on the term retired greyhound a much better ratio of around 2.5 to 1. Okay, it's a much smaller market but you have to agree, it's a much more targeted niche. Duh. If you use this technique and still find you're looking at larger search volumes and even larger search results you may need to drill down further still. This is where the dummy site can be even more helpful. You've identified the general area of interest, narrowed it down by choosing a particular book and now you can narrow it down still further. Those wonderful people at Dummies have provided the facility to see the chapter headings of each book under a tab named Table of Contents. Use this facility to identify even narrower niches. I and other articles will look at how we now begin to target the niches we've identified.